Welcome back everyone for the next part of Devil Survivor 2! In the last part we started off with Duchess Routes, finished off the Saturday, and before we start off with the second day, Sunday, I decided to show off a few more events. I mean, chips collapsed, we didn't see that yet, and Yamato still didn't reach level 5 yet, so uh, how about we do that first, shall we? Now then, you find a member of the Chips remnant imploring Yamato. Chief, we can't give up like this. <sighs> we can still fight. We're ready to go again. The new Japan needs us, Chief. It needs you. Just give the order. That was not in the rules. Once you lose, you're not allowed to rejoin the battle. Stop. I am not your chief any longer. No, you will always be our leader. For Chips. Enough! I have lost. My limit has been reached. Don't make me say any more. That's not true! Silence! Do you wish to shame me further? The world no longer needs Chips! Are you too blind to see that? Sir, Chips has fallen. So have we. Now go. Get out of here. <sighs> the agent shoulder slumps as he walks away. Uh, you didn't really have to be that harsh on him, okay? Even though you lose, it doesn't mean that we don't need chips anymore. I mean, you guys can still help. <sighs> People still need help. You overheard? Yeah. If things are to be done right, then I must disappear along with chips. Yet, there is so much I still need to do. Like rebuilding Japan? That is your task does not require me. But you're with us, right? I must ensure that you create a good world. <laughs> Surprised? I only fought you because I want what is best for this world. I want to see whether a world even better than my own ideals will unfold. That is my final task as head of the Hotsuin clan. No. My first task as myself. As yourself, huh? Until then, I shall fight alongside you. Do not disappoint me. Well, uh, Yamato, um, this is not really my plan, that's Daichi's plan, but okay. Just walk away. A man lying on the ground is talking to Yamato. Yeah, as you can see, two Yamato events right after each other. He didn't quite level up in the last event. Hey, do you... do you think I'll survive? <sighs> Be honest. I'm not gonna make it, am I? Is he hurt? Probably not. Frankly, I'm astonished you're still breathing. <laughs> you sure don't beat around the bush. Well, ask a stupid question. Was it a demon? Yeah. Hey, kid. Can you look in my pocket? Huh? Yamato searched the man's pocket and turns, uh, turn up a piece of candy. What's this? I wanted to give that... To my daughter. <laughs> I guess that's impossible now. <coughs> so, <coughs> I'm giving it to you. <laughs> I, I know it's not much. What? I, I certainly can't enjoy it. Please, take it. I'm not sure you know who I am. <laughs> Chips, right? I, I know. It doesn't matter anymore. No point in fighting. Or hating those who survive <coughs> should survive and that's okay <coughs> I, I'm useless at work so there's no way I can survive this it's my fault <coughs> <coughs> I wish I could see my daughter I'd come in the door and we yeah <sighs> Oh no. The man takes his last breath. Useless. Hmm. Yamato looks down at the candy in his hand. Do you finally realize the problem with your merit system? Do I have the right to accept this? Hmm. I mean, he decided to give it to you, right? Only you have that right. You think so. I am not too sure. 
I have never shared feelings or anything with civilians. And that is why that candy is so important. <sighs> Yamato silently walks away. Oh, Yamato, hopefully... Ah, see? There you go. Level 5. Ah, Yamato. Hopefully he finally changed his way. And with that, we have Ball. Again. So, now the thing is, the, the other character that I actually really need to get to level 5 would be Joe, since I wasn't able to get his final fusion unlock yet. Which makes it even more distressing that he isn't on my map. Great, right? Absolutely great. But well, all the other events we already saw, so I'm going to waste a little bit of time. Hello, Master. Your hard work today is to be commended. Uh, yeah. Ah, my, just however, to you've as I, I will now. Say I Allow is going me to. to stay I have with taken us. the liberty of. Comp Would you care? And no thanks. I already know what happens. Understood. Well then, May tomorrow. Oh, right. There is another important matter I wish to bring to light. That is new. In the course of your investigations into the changes abounding in this world over the past seven days, it seems you happened upon knowledge of the existence of the Akashic Record. If there is anything about it you wish to have clarified, I would be glad to assist. Wait, Tico. Really? You're going to give us those... Can we... Can we restore the world? Restore? Hmm. You wish to access the world's past? Now slumbering within the Akashic Record. Exactly. By doing so, you wish to restore the world from before. Uh, prior to the events that led to its present state? It is possible. However, be warned, there are some difficulties. Were you to meet with Polaris and express your wish to restore the world, and should she accept, Polaris would then use that past data to, in essence, overwrite the current state of the world. In less politic words, the world will have learned nothing, and the past will surely repeat its mistakes. Oh, that doesn't really sound that good. Which will, inevitably, cause Polaris to send another calamity like the one you have been experiencing. That doesn't really sound that good. But I guess we have to prevent that. Is that so? Then you have my apologies for attempting to warn you off your plan. However... The overwritten data will disappear, including the data of you, as you currently are. Thus, you will have no memories of these past seven days once the world has been restored. Even if your heart is strong enough to reject the data overwrite, multiple sets of data in one world are dangerous. Any corruption of your data may erase every trace of your existence. It does what? Uh, wait. Uh, what are chances? Next to none, I should think. You will need an exceptionally strong will to reject the overwrite and keep your memories, even should you survive and maintain your memory. The question remains, can you prevent another calamity? There is no easy solution. That is all I can say for sure. May your tomorrow be a nice day as well. So, let me get this straight. If we override our current consciousness back to the old state, we lose all memories and the calamity repeats itself. At least there's a high chance it's going to repeat itself. I don't think a strong heart is going to be enough to prevent the override, right? It's a power that creates the whole world. And, oh, a message from Hinako. Check this out, wait. Almost forgot. <laughs> Check this out, Ray. She's sweet, but boy, is she dumb. After we saved the world, we got her work on I. Oh, they're still, they are still dancing. Oh no, my poor eye. <laughs> Sunday's fruition, towards a tomorrow of dreams. Sue. So. You spent the night at the Chips Tokyo branch. Yo, rise and shine, man. Am I going to tell them about the information that I got from Tiko? I mean, it would only be right, right? 
Uh, Uncle Wix. Sorry to barge in so early. Everyone's up and gathered in the command room already. You better get moving. Right. You find your friends in the command room. Oh, good morning. Did you sleep well? Everyone's been waiting for you. Mm-hmm. Today we meet Polaris at last. Uh, what about it? Come on, we rocked all the Septentrions. Today's the day we meet Polaris. Oh, Hinako, if only you knew that I already met her like three times. Uh, wait a sec. About that. Did you guys hear what Tico said yesterday? Wait, he also... Ah, okay, so I don't need to explain them about the Akashi records. Well, that's good. Uh, I guess about us disappearing, huh? Yeah. Even if we can keep our memories, that could be a huge problem. I heard that too. How it's nearly certain that we'll cease to exist. So what do we do? If our memories or existence get wiped, this could all happen again. I don't want the world to be destroyed again. Hmm. Restoring the world's all well and good, but of course there's a catch. Going that route could be a huge gamble. We need to know for sure we can win. There's another issue that must be solved first. Dube, Merak, Fekta, Magrez, Alioth, Mizar, and Benetnash. We've defeated a total of seven Septentrions to this point. If they are indeed based on the Big Dipper, the one yesterday would have been the last. However, nothing has changed since defeating Benetnash. Isn't it rather odd? Um, well, I guess we have to search for Polaris herself. Polaris might be here already, somewhere outside our notice. Since you're awake now, I suggest we continue searching the area as we discussed. Let's do that. The deadline is approaching, so if anything happens, we'll call each other. Uh, sorry, mind if I butt in? There's actually one more thing. Oh? What is it? Um, well, then again... Daichi? Still what? Is something bothering you? Daichi, this is the last day. If you finally made up your mind what you want to do, you need to speak up about it. Oh, no, it, it's not bothering me. I just... I wonder if I'm the only one who feels this way. What are you talking about? We won't know unless you actually say something. Uh, you guys don't mind hearing me out? Of course not. This is your route. This is your time to shine, Daichi. Come on, spit it out. Even a stopped clock is right twice a day. You guys are so mean, but... Fine, here goes. This all started because of Polaris, right? Yes. Yes, and... Well, everyone's trying to reshape this world by drawing on Polaris's powers. Doesn't that seem strange? Why? I mean, she's basically the one who created everything. No, the guy's got a point. It was Polaris who set this situation up to begin with. Bowing down to something like that so we can get the world fixed does feel kind of off. Y you see? I mean, if Polaris hadn't done this, we'd still be living normal lives. It's like, wouldn't we have been better off if Polaris didn't exist at all? Uh... Uh... I don't know if that is better, Daichi. Well, no one does. I can't even remember if the old world was peaceful or not anymore. But at the very least, I'm pretty damn sure it was better than it is now. Then should we kill Polaris? Would killing Polaris fix this? Well, I know for a fact... I mean, I already saw Psyduk's route first. He explained to me. The only one who can use that thing Polaris is using in order to control the world. Is herself or a, a star? And I don't have Psyduk in my party, <laughs> Daichi. If we kill her without Psyduk, I don't know if we can, uh, I don't know if we can control that thing. So would it would that really fix things? Kill Polaris? That hadn't occurred to me. I thought I thought you wanted to point that out. Hey, that's it! That's exactly what we should do. No! Sounds like we're on the same page for once, Hinako. Fighting it's better than begging it. Uh, oh, hold on a sec. Polaris is the world's administrator. Yeah? So what? You don't see how it could be bad to kill the thing that manages the world? Exactly! 
If we don't have any type of replacement, that would be stupid. We have no idea what would happen if we defeated this administrator. Hmm, that's true. Guess that's off the table. And here I thought it was a great idea. Killed Polaris, huh? We can't know what would happen, but I guess that's one option. Thing is, we need to reach a conclusion soon. You say farewell to everyone before leaving. My god, why would they come to up to such a strange thing? I mean, come on! Luckily, luckily, I went with Psyduck's side first because that way I know what would happen. We cannot control that, the world. We cannot control the heavenly throne. If we destroy her, I don't think we can fix anything. <laughs> Even if we have control of that thing. Because we, oh my god, this is so ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. Uh, anyways, uh, first of all, let's take care of Psyduke. I guess he's going ah, to summon come. another I've Black been Frost. For you, shining one. Right? Anguish one? Are you going to summon more Black Frost? I'm honored. The honor is mine. Nothing gives me more pleasure than assisting you. The time to make your choice has come. You have unified the will of the species, yes? This decision will determine the fate of your world. Answer my next question carefully. Of course. Now then, Shining One, tell me your will. I can still pick the fact that I can just... Defeating Polaris isn't going to help. It can't be. I know it can't be, but I'm kind of curious what would happen. Well, I did have a save, right? I would need to fight a lot of battle again. You know what? You know what? We're going to go through the route of restoring the world. And I'm just going to show off what happens if we defeat her afterwards. If you ask Polaris to restore the world, your past and present data will conflict. Yeah, I know. I get deleted. If you are too weak to retain your memories, the world will fall into the same mistakes. You understand the risk? Of course I do. We do. Yeah. We just have to hang on to our memories, right? We won't let this happen again. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget. We hold so many precious memories of the time we spent together. <laughs> I'm sure we'll remember. We've been through some pretty intense stuff. It'll be fun. We've overcome so many ordeals. This is just one more. Yeah, to hell with starting over again. I'm gonna keep getting stronger. Yeah, we've worked so hard these past eight days so we'd be ready for this moment. There is another risk. If you have strength enough to retain your memories. Yeah, if we get bucked out of the system, we're going to get deleted. The stronger that power, the more it will conflict with the force of the override. The present and past data will clash, and in the worst case, your existence is in jeopardy. Do you understand the potential consequences? Yes. I know everything. We'll be fine. We've got all that potential, right? There's no way we'll be erased. Mm-hmm. I won't disappear. I'm stronger than my past self. It's illogical, chaotic, and completely unscientific. But I can live with that. There's no need to worry. Our will is strong. I'm sure this will work. <laughs> That's right. We have nothing to fear. We'll survive this trial, too. Hurry up. Neither him nor I have need of your tedious babbling. I see. Then I will say no more. It is time to test your true strength. With another Black Frost? Come on, Sai. I know you're going to summon now, it. Let's begin. Are you ready? Of course. It's just a Black Frost. That's a rather harsh welcome. Does that make you an enemy, after all? No, 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 no. Don't worry. Don't worry about that, Yamato. It's just a little test. You misunderstand. I have no intention of getting in your way. But your path is painful and arduous. That is why I wish for you to show me you have the power and resolve to come through. Now then, we have the strength. Then let's begin. Defeat all that stands before you and return silence to this place. 
And I guess I need to clean up again, huh? Always the same missions. All the time. Oh well, let me go ahead and clear everything out. Amazing. The powers you have fostered over these last eight days are real. We've defeated the demons. Please, tell us about Polaris. Not yet, humans. All the Septentrions must be defeated before the path can open. Wait, there are more? <laughs> the next will be the last. But the last will require all of your strength. The last one. Where is it? You will use what you call the Terminal to go where Polaris awaits. The one you currently have is too weak and cannot harness the required power. You didn't quite tell him yet that he is the last Septentrion. First you must find a way to strengthen the Terminal. Are you saying that you know how to strengthen our terminals? <laughs> Yamato didn't realize it yet? <laughs> I have no hints to give. You're almost there. Good luck. Oh, sigh. My sigh. Uh, he's gone. I still don't understand who he is. I know, right? What's with that guy? Let's focus on the big picture, though. There's gonna be another Septentrion. Right. Let's do our best. Dude, too soon for optimism. I was pretty sure we were gonna die fighting big old Benny yesterday. What if it's stronger than that? Do we even have a chance? Is fighting it our only choice? For now, maybe we should focus on strengthening the terminal. Hmm. He said we can't meet Polaris if we don't make the terminal strong. Yeah, I guess. How are we gonna do that, though? Ah, we made it this far and we still got a crap load of stuff to think about. They all leave troubled by various things because they didn't yet realize that there's still a piece of the Dragon Stream remaining. So it's come this far. I thought I was prepared for it, but how can anyone be? This is really bad. At this rate, we might not even make it another day. Oh. Hey there, buddy. It's... What are you thinking? Hmm? Uh, oh, it's, it's nothing. No big deal. Well, maybe it is. <laughs> hey, good timing. Will you take a look at this? It's Polaris's black scar. What was it called? The Void or something? It's getting bigger. I heard that even the Edogawa and Kota wards were swallowed by the darkness. Huh. So what? I guess it doesn't matter at this point, but it's pretty close to the tower. Yeah, we have to speed it up. It's not just Edogawa and Koto. The nothingness is expanding. People are evacuating. It's like the only things left are the parts of the city we walk around in. It's the same in other places. There aren't many cities left intact. Even then, the survivors are being attacked by demons. Everything's falling apart. Is this all because the barrier Yamato placed is gone? Well, even if the barriers were still remaining, it would just slow down the progress. It would still close in on us. But this is serious. Yeah, if we don't hurry, maybe the whole world will become nothing. The world will become nothing. Oh, this is, sorry. Uh, did I kill the mood? Hey, don't worry. We've got each other. If we all work together, I'm sure we can save it. Yeah, everything will be fine. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Oh, that Daichi. We should see Polaris quick and get something done. Right. <laughs> You're right. We have to do whatever we can the best we can. Right off with remaining power. I was wondering, why was the other event before the other event? Usually, Swallowed World, I save up until the end. Right next to Polaris, but I guess this time around I was forced to see it first. So, my this is friends. This difficult problem. My friends, His are you guys talking about the Dragon Stream? It must be something that we can do right now. 
Hmm. Well, I got nothing. I guess we should try asking our go-to guy about... And that would be... Oh, hey there. Holy crap! When did you get here? Don't surprise me like that. Panic much, Daichi? <laughs> However, you have perfect timing. Any thoughts? Well, of course, the Dragon Stream. <laughs> yep, it's an... <laughs> no, but we seriously, could... uh, you guys are just going to talk about... Thank enhancing the terminal. I'm going to say about some parts because I don't have any idea yet. And then we're going to figure out that sooner or later that there's a there's a piece of the dragon stream still remaining. And we just have to grab it right off the bat. Wasn't there something left? There we go. There yeah, they realize that there's still something left on two bats that I cannot completely skip the cutscene. Oh well. Now we just need to tame yet another dragon head. And then, and hey, then, this way. the one step closer to Polaris. And I think this dragon string thing will totally work. Ah, you've arrived. Kujo has explained your plan. I'm impressed you thought of using the dragon string to strengthen the terminal. You are a clever man. Alrighty, let's head out. The last piece of the dragon should be up ahead. Last I saw from the rooftop, it was lying on the ground. Uh, are you talking about that thing over by the entrance? Whoa, that's it, all right. D do you think it's okay to go near it? Uh, well, it's still asleep. You think so? You say that, but who really knows what condition it's in? It's okay, Daichi. The dragon's sleeping because he had a good meal. It's just a head. I don't even think it has a stomach. We don't have time for your prattling. Hurry it along. Hey, found it! It's bigger than I remember! It turned to stone? What's happened to it? Damn, I guess we underestimated it. We can't move it like this. Well, I guess it will be fine. No, any second no, now. Won't. There's no way we can move something this huge without a freaking crane or something. Any second now, and then it wakes up again. Yamato? Hmm. It seems to have solidified temporarily as a reaction to releasing the Dragon Stream's energy. Wait there. It'll take some effort to awaken it gently. Gently? Wait, he tried to awaken it gently so that Demons! This so that it doesn't go absolutely crazy? What ill timing. They're after the Dragon Stream's power. Because so far, so this far... Irie was smacking it, I think Kata was smacking it, everyone touched it, and then suddenly it got angry, right? During every attempt, we made it kind of angry. Holy! It's still alive! It's moving! And there it goes again. <sighs> this isn't good. Due to its sudden awakening, it's trying to restore its powers. We'll have to strike it down, and then calm its mind. Come on! Ah, so that is why it was so brutal. I see. I see. Well, I'm going to tame yet another dragon. Just give me a second. This isn't going to take that long. And there we go. It's calmed down. To think it still had that much power. But it's very interesting. That is the first time they explained to me why it is one Arlok. I thought it was just hungry. I mean, it ate so much, suddenly wakes up, and then he's hungry again, you know? That it tried to restore its own power, on the other hand, so I never, that never crossed my mind. What a pain. I didn't expect that to happen. I didn't even know that he could convert other demons into power itself, but, oh well, the battle was the sweat. Dude, you're some kind of beast. I really hope this lets up soon. Okay, we beat it. So, do we just wish for it to shrink or something? Well, of course. Shrinky, shrinky. Ah, nothing better than a golden dragon figure, right? What in the name of... What? It shrunk. Well, of course. That was useful. 
This is unsurprising. The Dragon Stream is pure energy. It takes the form given to it. He wanted it to go all shrinkity shrink, and it did. I see. That's a convenient power. <laughs> no wonder the Holtzween family's so strong. Well, let's go over to the terminal now. After You're all, right. Well, the terminal switchboards in Osaka. Sai and Pulau is are waiting. Is this going to be okay? It's super tiny now. It didn't lose its powers, right? A dragon, right in the palm of your hand. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Hey, come on. This isn't the time for stuff like that. We don't have time to waste. You can talk at the Osaka terminal. The last assassin. Oh, Sai. I really don't want to fight you again. But maybe, I mean, we already saw that uh, Yamato and Ronaldo were able to survive. Maybe, just maybe, he's also going to survive somehow. We're here. Huh? Is this really the place? It would be nice, right? Ah, uh, yeah, it is. Right. I can't think of anywhere else. <sighs> I've got butterflies in my stomach. This is the right place. When you say terminal, you think Gyps. When you say Gyps, you think Osaka. And when you say Osaka, you think Takoyaki, right? Oh man, now I'm starving. This is no time for Japes. You have the dragon, yes? Of course I have. Good. Now we'll use that to strengthen the terminal. And how do I do that? Y yeah. Aren't you gonna do something with those Hotsuin powers of yours? I don't know. We're treading into the unknown, even for a Hotsuin. I'm going on speculation. The method should be the same as before. The master must define what he needs to the dragon stream. Oh, that's right. He wished for it to become smaller before. Focus your mind and wish for the dragon stream to strengthen the terminal and open the path to Polaris. All right. I'm counting on you. I'm sure you can do this. Alrighty then, shall we give it a try? Got it. Ah, ye. Ah, ye. For the last time! Terminal! Full power! <laughs> uh, huh? Whoa! locale has changed so this is what he was speaking of hello shining one it seems the terminal has been strengthened ah, you yeah it's all done do we get to meet Polaris now not yet I believe I said that the last septentrion must be defeated yeah, and where is it? Yeah, how can we fight something if it hasn't even shown up yet? It will appear soon, right before your very eyes. Shining One, my name is Alcor, companion star to Mizar, and known as the Lifespan Star. Uh, Alcor? You're the last Septentrion! In the past, I doubted the Septentrions and Polaris's unified consciousness. That doubt eventually split me from them. After a long, long slumber, I was led to you. Now that you have chosen a path, I will fulfill my duty as the final Septentrion. And fight for one more turn. What the hell? He transformed! This is my true form. I am Polaris' sword, here to serve as the final ordeal. No more words are needed. I wish to see your wills as shown through your strength. Now, fight well. Of course. 
Seriously? He's the last Septentrion? No way. Let's get ready. Oh man. Damn it. We don't have any choice, do we? No, no really, Daichi, we never have a choice against Sai. If he do isn't in really our party, I always have to fight him. Yes. It's the only way. I I can do this. It's not like we have any other way. I don't want to hurt you, but we have to win. The final ordeal, huh? Let's go! Poor Sai. I'm really sorry. But don't worry, I'm going to do it as quickly as I possibly can with the least amount of pain. So, there we go. Hey! Please stand up, Sai. I don't understand. Why are you looking so upset? The last Septentrion has been defeated. The path to Polaris will now be opened. Sai, stand up! Come on! That's right. I mean, this might sound weird, but I wish we didn't have to fight. <laughs> it's mysterious. I feel the same way. Alcor, was it? The long animosity between you and the Hotsuin family has ended. Yes, Yamato Hotsuin. I apologize for the heavy burden I cast upon your bloodline. Wait! Yamato and, and Sai finally make up? Unnecessary words. I am here by my own free will. It has nothing to do with you. <laughs> That's true. Humans are already out of my hands. The rest is up to you. But Sai! Come on, Sai! This time around, Yamato and Ronaldo are alive, and you actually made up with him! You could just, just stand up and, and join the battle! It can't be that Sai only survives in one round! The terminal moved! That would be so unfair! Shining one, and your comrades go. Polaris waits ahead. Oh my god, the voice. He doesn't make it. Oh no! <laughs> Alcor! This is so unfair. Alcor's dead? Damn it. I don't know how to feel about this. So the only way in order to spare him is his own route, because that is the only time where we are not forced to fight him. So he was also at the mercy of Polaris, just as we humans are. How ironic. Seems like he really has to die in order to open up the path. He won't get around it unless we join the battle. Yeah, he wasn't really a bad guy after all. Mm. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, you're right. We've lost so much, but we're gonna get it all back, for sure. Right. That's right. We're almost at the end. We gotta brace ourselves and keep going. Mm-hmm. Let's make sure we have everything ready before we meet Polaris. Yo, man, we've been waiting for you. Mm -hmm. We can't start without you. Shall we go? Of course. I look forward to seeing this world you claim to be superior to my ideals. Is it time? All right, then. Let's go see what this Polaris is like. The time has finally come. This is our final battle. Let's do our best. We can do this. Just relax. We're fully prepared. You may give the order when ready. We can- Yo, hurry it up! I don't care what we're fighting. I just don't want to see the world erased. We'll be alright. As long as you guys are around, not even Polaris can scare me. <laughs> well, here we are. All that's left is to meet Polaris, or Polaris, you know who I mean. Thanks. We owe it all to you that we even made it this far. Now let's finish this. <laughs> we are just one step away from the world you wanted. I'm with you till the end. I... I can do anything as long as I'm with you. So, after the world's restored, let's meet again. Promise me. Of course we will. All right, man. 
We've been through a lot, but it's finally time to end this. Let's go. Yeah! And this is the first time. The first time that I have the full circle. The full circle of people. You know what? No matter how often I am here. What? What the? Where are we? No matter how often I am here. I never get tired of this place. I don't know why, but it still looks really pretty. It seems we're here. Now, where is Polaris? Huh? Everybody, look at that! And there she comes. Sue, what are you going to say about this wish? Huh? What are you going to say about this wish? The last time you said it was your set it was the same wish, right? Twice. With uh, merit system and equality. Humans, you have overcome my ordeals and now stand before me. Hmm. Are you Polaris? I am Polaris, the administrator of worlds who sits atop the heavenly throne. We defeated all the Septentrions. That's why we need you to... Daichi, don't get quiet. You need to speak up now. That's right. We've united our will and overcome the trials. The conditions are met. Do not be so hasty, humans. All your work has only been a test to meet with me. First, I must ask, what kind of world do you desire? Well, please restore the past. Th that's right. You might not understand, but we lived our lives to the fullest in that world. For the past eight days, we've seen and done so much. We've learned tons of stuff. We'll make use of that, and do our best to help the world progress in the right way. You desire the world to be restored. If your world is overwritten, there is no knowing what shall become of you. Well, we kind of understand the risk. That's right. We aren't living like we were before. Back when we knew nothing, we'll do our best not to lose ourselves to the way we used to be. I understand your desire, but mankind has been corrupted and has already lost its worth. And yet, you believe you will be able to lead them in the correct direction? Mankind has lost its worth? <laughs> I must agree. However, his powers have brought us this far. Can you say it's truly impossible for us to find the right path? I see. Then I will say no more. Now then, I shall test whether you are truly ready. Whether you are able to lead the masses without being swayed by them. Hmm. Seems like she isn't quite against the idea. Okay. Even Bring though, on all the tests you want. Even though she thinks the world we are living in, we were living in, was unworthy. Well, back to the first phase! Ah, the first phase. Always the first phase. So annoying. I don't oh, like well. where this is going. Are we gonna have to fight Polaris now? Yeah, of course we have to. Ah, damn it. 
This is the last one, right? Fine. Okay, everyone. Let's do this. Let's get her. Whoa! What's going on? Oh, shoot. One sec too late. Oh, well. No. This is still not enough to bear the world. Let us move on. Resummoning all the parts. Time for round number two, right? The round number two. Is there going to be a difference now, or do I just need to defeat you again? Like when I was fighting with Sai. I mean, it could happen, right? Hmm. Wait, I need the bottom screen again. What? She wasn't going all out? Now, look upon your past selves. Ask if you will make the same mistakes. Past self? Oh! It's impossible. impossible. There's, There's no, no way. way. We'll, we'll never be able to hang on to our memories while the rest of the world turns back. Can that even be done? It's probably impossible. If our data collides, we'll cease to exist. I'm scared. I don't want that to happen. What are you doing? Do you really think this will work? Once the world goes back, our memories will be gone. Memories of our new friends, too. What the hell? What foolishness. You want the world to return to the way it was? What a joke. What good will it do anyway? Mankind will just go down the exact same path again. <laughs> How amusing. Return the world to the way it was before. <laughs> Miracles are unscientific. Either you'll lose your memory, or you'll be erased. That's it. You shouldn't do this. You're gonna be erased. The families you leave behind will curse you forever. Are you really okay with that? If I'm being er erased... If my data is corrupted... Do you rem remember me if that happens? It'll be impossible. It doesn't matter how hard you try. It won't work. You'll lose your memories. Lose your existence. The world will surely repeat its mistakes. You moron. It's obviously impossible. Are you just gonna let the world and your friends die? You want that? Are you sure about this? You want to return to a world of imbeciles run by imbeciles for imbeciles? Oh, three times imbeciles, huh? Or do you think you can stop that decay by yourselves? Don't make me laugh. Even if the world returns, even if your memories remain, can you change the world? Think about it. You can't change mankind that easily. It's better to just give up. What useless struggling. Us save the world? We're just normal people. Come on. We can't tell the whole world that it's wrong. Are you stupid or something? It's impossible to change the world back. This whole stupid quest's always been useless. It's not going to change now. Okay. What's with that? Are those... us? Okay, uh, seems like we have to actually fight against everyone, huh? Well, that's different. And I defeated... Oh, gosh. Oh, wait a second. Let me see. Are this Fumi, Makoto, Otomo. They, at least they join teams so that I don't need to defeat every single one of them. And it seems like... Oh god, Io, at least Io didn't transform. Keda, Io, Yamato are fighting alone, and Ronaldo joined team with Ivy and Sho. Good. So I don't need to worry about evil flow. If that is the case, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just going to let them all come to me. It is time for you to fall back. You've done as well as you could, but... What's the use in fighting any longer? That is a good question, Makoto. 
<laughs> Idiots. Don't waste your breath talking about the world until you've beaten me. Uh-huh, Kena. It's impossible. We are you, and you are us. There's no way you can beat us. Why even try? Well, if I don't try, I don't get the new world. Right, the old world, right? So, you guys aren't really protecting each other, which means... Uh, well, I don't have Pierce. Piercing hits... Uh, yeah, sure. October. Oh my god, she's tanky. Never mind. It is very important to get rid of Otomo, because she's the only one around with some Ikram prayer. And Makoto also has Ikram, but in comparison to Makoto, some Ikram is a little bit more dangerous, don't you think? So I think that's enough? Perfect. That would be one. 12k! Ho ho ho, I tell the body! <laughs> you have no chance. You will never win. But that's just one. And now I'm gonna grab Daichi. Because why not, right? So, jungle. Pierce power charge. Uh, shield all could get in the way. Which means, piercing hit her first. Need to get rid of that. Masan is not possible. Nobody reflects assassination. Go for her. Okay. Why the hell are you just attacking normally? Why would you do that? Oh, oh my god. I missed. Well, at least she didn't really use shield all, right? She didn't really use shield all. So, let's just focus down the center with double assassination and that should totally do the trick. There we go. How the hell did Jungle survive my make it alone? <laughs> it's impossible. Uh huh. Sure thing. So, Keda, you're next. I specifically come with Eo because Eo, Eo with her magic attack, is going to be totally fine against you. See? 50%. 0%. Try and struggle all you want. Okay, da. End. Then Dutch is going to take care of Eo herself. Ah, oh, my poor Eo. You don't even have Megido alone. You only have Megido and Dirahan. It just isn't really that good. Oh well, double piercing hit is going to do the trick. Ah, and she's she isn't even that tanky. She isn't even that tanky. It's impossible, no matter what you do. I hear they saying it's impossible. I mean, it could happen, right? That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, Devil Flash. Move closer. Wait, move even closer. Maybe I can get Ronaldo next time as well. Here reflects physical. Well, do you know what I have against that, Yamato? Do you know what I have against that? Specifically for Reflect Physical, I gave them Holy Strike. Just to go absolutely happy. And Yamato, your skill set, Petra Eyes, Weak Kill? You have super high magic! Get the Megido! <laughs> Can't you fools see the fertility in your struggle? Mm -hmm. So, Ronaldo, are you going to reach me? Fool, how long are you going to cling to the dream that you ch uh, that you can change the world? Well, that wasn't so bad. I mean, yeah, sure, I'm completely overleveled, but overall, it wasn't so bad. He drains. What he hits? Uh, no, 
just just go for the center. I mean, nobody is protecting him, right? Yeah, nobody is protecting him. Makakan! Of course, you would go for Makakan. <laughs> Aye. Aye. Just with this one, Adol. There's no way you're gonna survive another round of Holy Strike and Guards. He got the poison on! Huh. Well, at least he doesn't have weak kill, right? At least he doesn't have weak kill. Anyways, you still have to live with your regrets. If you create a new world, and very you well. Live with Let me present the final ordeal. Wait, 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 wait. She's going to transform again, right? There she comes. So let me let me get this over with again. Always swapping between two screens. Now, uh, yeah. humans, show me your resolve. Prove to me the strength of your determination. Sure. Just wait. Once Shungo gets close, he's going All to right. rip you apart. This is it for real. Brace yourselves. I just need to get Shungo over there. How's that? Please, call it quits. I see. Impressive. Be gone, Polaris! For the fourth time! This is it. What? I see. I did not think that humans divorced from Providence had so much passion. You have shown your potential. It would appear that the order of the world is changing. Really? Then you'll grant our wish? Yes. I acknowledge your desire. I shall return the world to its previous state. Thank you very much, Polaris. Yes! We did it! We totally did it! Now all of our dreams will finally come true. Of course. To the victor, the sports. Do not forget, humans. All that has happened is that I have seen the potential within you. To return the world to its previous state requires the future to change as well. If your memories since my intervention are removed, the same events may recur. Do you still wish to return to the past state? Of course. That was our wish. Very well. Let us begin. Oh, wait, top screen, top screen! <laughs> Why is it always turning right? If it doesn't... Oh. Oh, that's pretty. That is really pretty. Hey, uh... Just one thing I have to tell you. Look, we could never have done this without you. Thank you, my best friend. I have something I want to tell him too. Thanks. It's really because of you that we made it this far. None of us knows what will happen now, but I'll never forget you, okay? Whoa! What was that, I? 
the way, stupid Hina. It's my turn. Um, I want to say something, too. Yeah, of course. I'm all yes. You don't have to be so nice about it. Um, I'm really glad I met you, and even if this world gets overwritten, I won't forget you. Not ever. That's all. You're my best friend. I'm glad I know you. Here, eat this. It's good. Even, even in this purpose of restoring the world, Shawan Mushi. <laughs> How Chow does the oldest have to the world? You're a real one-trick pony, aren't you? You have some too, Kata. It's really good. <laughs> oh, good. I don't want any moron. Jeez. Come on, you said your piece, now scram. Yo, well, looks like this is it. You know, it was actually pretty fun. I'm sure you'll still be doing stuff in the new world, so call me up, okay? Of course. Bye, Kata. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, so so. Oh, my so so, huh? That's pretty amazing, though. You're about to defy this world's rules. Honestly, I don't really care about gyps or what becomes of the world. It's just the world, you know? I'll learn everything I can about it and then die. But you, I'm very interested in you. To the point that I give my life just to see what happens. Oh, that's all I'll say for now. I hope we meet again. Wait a second. Wait a second. Did you see that? I think for a second she was blushing. Fumi! Fumi! Are you really you did your best? very best. Oh my gosh. Everybody appreciates it. And so do I, of course. So, I have a little reward for you. A reward? There, there. You really did a great job. Oh! Uh, was that all? Oh my. <laughs> was that not enough? <laughs> I'll give you another pat the next time we meet. Joe! Ah, oh, hey there, kid. Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> Looks like it's finally over. Um, well, it's just begun, right? I guess you could put it that way. Still, I feel different. I've learned so much. I think I'll take things more seriously from now on. I owe that to you. Thanks, man. So, this is what you wanted to show me? Kind of impressive, right? Look at the light show, huh? That is right. I see. I understand it now. <laughs> Look at them. Look at the smiles on their faces. The restored world will be so much brighter than it was the first time. I'll continue to walk the same path as you. One day, we... <laughs> oh, never mind. We can talk about our dreams in the new world. And there's Makoto. Um, permission to speak? Are you just so formal? Of course. <laughs> Amazing. Would that all leaders were like you. I'm glad I followed you. I'd like to take this opportunity to express my gratitude. Thank you. I am so proud to have fought at your side. And Yamato. Are you satisfied? Mm, definitely. Oh, is that so? I'm not. To think that my ambitions resulted in this. Still, I won't give up. For your sake, I will watch over this world's restoration. Depending on what the future holds, I may again work for my merit system as your rival. Hey, would you go easy on me when the time comes? <laughs> I'm not so sure you should be the one to say that. It sounds more like my line. And you. This is kind of odd. You are you the last one? You think so? Uh, <laughs> You still say the strangest things. It's only been eight days since we met in Shibuya, after all. It doesn't feel real. Um, thank you. We owe all of this to you. Uh, I mean, it's alright. I mean, come on. Yeah. Everyone would have done that. It's the strangest thing. Save the world. A few <laughs> days ago, I barely knew your face. 
when we met that day at the subway platform. Where they are uh, almost crushed by a train. More than anything, I wanted time to talk with you. So even if the world's restored, I won't forget you. It really was the last one. I'm just going to go for for uh, my guts feeling and say the bottom screen is going to be important. Ye yes. That's why it was so tough. I mean, poor me, right, dude? Hey, ground control to Major Tom. Wait a second. Be right back where the train where the train crash is going to come. Uh, sorry, what? Wow, you were totally spaced out there. Well, whatever. Anyways, there's all this university stuff I have to do. It is my future, though. Guess I should quit complaining and try a little harder, huh? Wait. Wait. Are you remembering, or is it just back to normal now? Uh, now that... Oh, that I didn't see coming. Come on, don't make fun of me. I'm a promising young man, you know? I can be all kinds of mature. That reminds me, did that RPG come out this week? Oh. That's just staring at something. Uh, do you see something? It's Eo! That's totally her. She's Eo! smart, cute, modest, innocent. Damn, you just don't make him like her anymore. She's something special. No wonder everyone idolizes her. Huh. Let's go talk to her. Whoa there, Casanova. I guess it is a good chance, huh? Do you think it's worth it? Um, excuse me. Jeez, can't you see we're in the middle of fantasizing? Hi, hey, hi. Oh, I I'm sorry. Am I bothering you? E Ew! <laughs> well, what a crazy random coincidence! You seem to have something she wants to say. Uh, yo, eel? Huh? You, you know who I am? Please remember. Wow. You guys need that to remember. That makes me kind of happy. It's if there's something that I could trigger, that I was a little late. Is everyone still at the exams? Uh, and she shoves me away. Uh, ah, but big bro, <laughs> right? Always the bros to shove you away. There are afternoon tests too. If you're applying to public universities, that's the place to be. Good to know. Thank you. You still seems to have something else to say. Uh, you will get the question later. Oh, yeah, I know, but so far, that wasn't so it. Peach. Um, I've seen you at school a few times, so s since we ran into each other, if you don't mind... Uh, should we hang out? Then, um, you're up for it? I think that's new. I don't remember that part. Wow! R really? I can really, um, hang out with you? Um, hello? Daichi, <laughs> still standing right here. Hey! Don't want to intrude hey. or anything. Hey, Daichi, you were the one shoving me away. Don't mind me. <laughs> Step aside. Oh, that's cold. Ice cold. My best friend's stabbing me in the back. How could you? You were the one shoving me away first. <laughs> You're funny. That was a little mean, though. It was uncalled for. The most unkindest cut of all. Um, why don't we all go somewhere? Is that okay? But, but you... Uh, I guess. That's wonderful. Oh, all right, fine. Let's go have some fun. Onward! <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. Oh my god! Both! Both screens! Both screens! <laughs> and it looks a little bit weird since there's no gap in between both screens. <laughs> oh well. At least it seems like everything got restored quite nicely. I don't see any gaps, any holes, any bugs. Only problem is... It seems like they didn't remember. And it's bad! <laughs> Except of the fact that they're still in a group. I didn't see any changes. Oh no! Let's skip to the credits to see if maybe there's a there's a difference. 
Oh! The credits have some cutscenes, it seems like. And Io, or rather uh, Hinako and Ivy started the band. What's this? A line? Mm -hmm. Keda! Keda's a boxing champion! I knew he had it in you! <laughs> Nobody can beat Keda! Of course not! Keda's way too strong! And look at that! Both of them are sharing shower bushy to go! Oh, I guess Shungo and Keda became the best friends! Right? Best friends. But there's one thing I don't know about. Is Shamabush is something that, that you can eat cold all the time? Because he's carrying it around everywhere, right? Let's see here. Oh my god, yes! A tomato! You're so cute together! And so is his girlfriend! I never got to see her or, or speak to her, but it's nice to see that they get along! Are they still marrying now that the uh, memory got forbidden? I mean, they have to! They still love each other, right? And <laughs> Yamato! So, Yamato, what are you gonna do? Oh! Oh, that's cold, Yamato! That's cold! You could have helped him up! Well, at least uh, he didn't say anything mean to it. And she even pets her head, uh, his head. Oh my god. And what are they doing? Ronaldo? What's that? Oh, did he join the police? Well, it's kind of fitting. He's always for justice. Oh my god, is that a bit much for two for two people? <laughs> a little bit. Oh my god. Wait a second. Wait a sec, that's the spirit world. That was the tree from the spirit world from the first game. And we never visit that location. Huh. And is that the moment when we were getting out of the train station? What are we doing? Daichi? Daichi? Don't play around on the streets, Daichi! Don't you dare play around on the streets! Huh. Well, that was interesting. That wasn't really quite the end of the credits, but it was something new. Nope. And here it comes. Last message of Nicaea. And probably Tico. Are we still going to survive? Hmm? Are you going to talk about survival again? You don't need these services anymore. Good luck. So we're safe. We don't need to survive. And he actually still had one final word for us. Well, that is kind of nice. So now don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm just going to save a new clear data right over here. After all, I don't need to go back to the first day anymore. And now, quick cut to the other ending, where we are supposed to destroy Polaris. Let's see what happens from there, shall we? What the? Hey, where are we? We are back at Polaris, because we still want to see what happens if we actually destroy her. Now then, uh, how is she going to react to the fact that we are here to destroy her? <laughs> Looks like uh, we're here, she's but not going to like it. Where's Polaris? One hundred percent. She wasn't really happy about it when we came here with Sai. And now we don't even have Sai on our on our side. Oh ye! Oh god! This can only end terrible. <laughs> oh. 
humans. You have overcome my ordeals, and now stand before me. Are you Polaris? I am Polaris, the administrator of worlds from atop the heavenly throne. I knew it. It's your fault that our worlds... will never forgive you! Daichi's right. You ruined our lives. There's no going back from that. Forgive? What utter presumptuousness from words. If you have no intention of forgiving me, then why have you come before my majesty? Oh, she doesn't really take us serious! Oh, ho, ho. you're done for. If that's right, we won't live under your thumb anymore. In our world, we lived our lives to the fullest. You had no right to butt in. Mm -hmm. We don't need you. We can take care of ourselves. Complete and end foolishness. After soiling your world and involving me, now you trample upon the hope for which you have fought? Worse, you dare challenge me? That's why we've come here. We won't lose! Very well, humans. I have no mercy. If these words cannot sway you, I shall erase you myself. <laughs> oh, she really does take up serious. Ah, oh, you need to teach her a lesson. And she's spawning more things. Ah, yeah. First face! First face! Ah, oh, God. How many times? How many times are you going to bring that out? Bring it on! All right, this is no rehearsal, guys. Let's do this. Right. What's going on? You would destroy me with such meager strength. Preposterous. Meager? I just hit you for three k. What do you want? Oh my God! Second face. <laughs> Once again. All the time. What is the difference? Do we also need to fight against ourselves this time around? Or... Demons, maybe? I mean, you could always summon demons. It is kind of your thing, right? At least your left arm loves to summon demons over and over and over again. Now then. She wasn't going all out? Ah, oh, that one. I see. I sense your hold over their hearts, spurring them onwards. Ah, so you realize that I'm their leader. I need only eliminate you, and their hearts will be shattered. All hope will be lost. You want to do what? You shall die, child of man. When I erase your existence, this farce will be over. Seriously? Seriously? She wants to kill me from all my party members. No! Is Polaris going to target him now? We can't let him die. Guys, we must defend him while we defeat Polaris. Defend me? What? Come on, guys. Don't joke around. It's... Do you know that I never died, even once, ever, since I started my rerun fights? Oh my god, uh, let me just uh, quickly take care of all of them. My god! Do, 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 do. So much for defeating demons, I huh? I see you will not be easily destroyed. Then I shall face you with my true strength. I should have done that much sooner. I could have just rushed. I could have just used even flow again and finish her off, and then I don't need to take care of any demons. That is much, much quicker. I might have even be able to do that during the the double battle against shadows or the after images of us. But oh well, I also wanted to see what they have to say, so I don't really had a choice in that department. Now then, Polaris, one more stretch and then you're done for! Die, humans. I 
shall not allow your desire to be realized. Of course you wouldn't want that. After all, you would be dead afterwards. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. This is it for real. Brace yourselves. Right. <laughs> Did we do it? You truly intend to destroy me. To attain your naive fantasy. You are fools. Hey! Just... Just get lost, okay? Hurry up and go away. You humans do not know your place. You are more dangerous than I could have foreseen. When I am gone, you will no longer even be able to control demons. Wait, what? Space vermin like you can never survive what lies ahead. <laughs> Wait, she gave us the power because of her. We are able to control demons. But I thought it was. But then again, Saigo kind of belongs to her. Yeah, right. Oh no, my poor demons! I hope they all get despawned if, if they are still around. With us being able to control them, we're going to have a lot of problems, like a serious lot of problems. Sue. Oh. Um. Well, is this? Yep, it's over. It's all over. Yeah, now we're really, truly free. Oh yeah, we did it! We totally rocked it! Oh, but now what are we supposed to do? I guess we can take the terminal back, but the world's still ruined, and I don't know who to ask. There's nobody else left to ask. And it's not like we can control the thing that we destroyed just now, right? <sighs> I guess uh, now it's up for us to think for ourselves. Yeah, Daichi. It's not like we're under anyone's control anymore. We're the ones who decide what happens next. All of it. Mm-hmm. No one knows how things will turn out. We gotta decide for ourselves. Really? I guess. Oh snap, I'm not feeling so confident all of a sudden. Hmm. Yeah, me too. I don't know what, what we're supposed to do now. We don't even have demons anymore that could help out. Uh. Yeah, but we'll be alright. Let's go home. Let's go home, where everything is already destroyed. I guess it's time for us to rebuild stuff, huh? Oh god, oh god. Shh, there you go. There's nothing to worry about. You're okay now. There are lives at stake. Prioritize the injured first and get him out of here. We brought some blankets. There aren't many, but we can get more. Please, take some. Great, we can use those. There's tons of evacuees that way. Bring them over there. Understood. Seems like they're all working together now. Sharing their supplies, sharing their blankets. Rescuing everyone who's alive? Now that there's no demon friend Raise anymore. your hand if you can't walk! We still have food! Everyone will get some! At least it doesn't seem like there are demons friend around, or else they wouldn't be so relaxed, right? And out of the, in the open. An aide will come and ask you if you need medicine. Let them know how much your family needs. You're back. How'd it go on your end? No good. The west side's completely gone. Damn. What about the east? 
if we loop around. No, that way's out too. My friends went to check it out. It's a mountain of rubble. Okay then, we'll head around to the north side. That's been scouted already. Mm, not a bad plan. Let's secure a safe route first. Can you take point? Of course. Okay. Anyone who isn't injured, follow me. We'll depart immediately. The world's an administrator has perished. Mankind has won true freedom. Hey! Another beach! Those who survived are left with what remains of the world and a vast sea that spreads beyond it. What do you mean? What is left of the. Oh. Oh, so everything that got touched by the scar was filled by... by water. Mankind has no means to heal the deep scar left as the cost of freedom. Yeah, we kind of destroyed the only thing that could possibly do something about it. But doesn't that mean that everything else is gone? Yet, even so, the world goes on. Oh, but seriously, we basically destroyed everything <laughs> and we can't get it back! In the hands of the indomitable champion! Oh, that picture is nice. I mean, it could have been worse. It's still better than the merit system. The final cutscene of the Septentrian arc, end of Daichi's route. Well, we don't really have any demons more anymore, so uh, I guess we're out of service, huh, Lysia? <laughs> right? You're free from control, but also from protection. Protected from what? Protected from what? <laughs> We don't need protection if there are no more demons around. At least I think that is the case. Now that we have done with Daichi's route, we officially reach the end of the Septentrium arc. But it's not quite over with the Let's Play yet, because there's still one more arc waiting for us that we already saw in the very first part, where it was like, uh, which arc am I supposed to take? Uh, wait, what's the name again? Er uh, something about tree, I think. Tree gloom. We'll see in the next part. I, I'm, I'm not even trying to remember the name of the next arc. It was a, a strange one, just as well as a tentrion. Which means I probably need another 40 parts in order to remember the name. <laughs> oh god. Anyways, uh, I hope you guys had fun with Dutch's Rouse. And see you in the next part, when we have a fresh start, with Apocalypse again. And I don't even know what I'm going to bring along, since I'm also going to use my new Game Plus file, just without the demons this time around. I'm not going to break it completely. But I'm going to set it up in case uh, there are multiple endings in the other arc as well, so that I don't need to replay it again, just in preparation in order to do the other endings. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, until next time. Bye-bye.